Hi, I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get an all over metallic effect on a piece of furniture. So this dresser is great as it is. It looks so much better than it did when I started, but we're gonna take it up a notch and give it a nice pearly metallic finish right over the paint here. So if you're ready to get started and learn how to do this, let's do it. All right, here's what you're gonna need to make this finish. So I'm gonna use General Finishes Pearl Effects for this. I, my favorite color in this is the Champagne Pearl. It's a really nice translucent pearlescent uh, and it goes right over the paint. It keeps the color of the paint that you start with um, but just gives it a really nice shine. So that's what we're gonna use. I also use High Performance Flat Finish. This is also General Finishes. And what we're gonna do here is actually mix the two. When we mix the two together before we put it on, it helps even out the finish and give a really nice all over pearl without getting some of the streaks or um, annoyances that come if you just put the straight pearl effects on there. So I just grabbed a clean jar here. So you can see what I'm doing. One of the biggest tricks is to make sure you stir your pearl effects really well. I've done it before where I just started using it from the can after a little shaking and it was not shiny at all. So stir it well. It settles at the bottom. And you can see the consistency is thinner than paint, um, but thicker than the top coat. All right, so now this is nice and stirred. I'm gonna pour some in the jar. The ratio I'm gonna use for this is about half and half. For a full supply list of everything you will need to create this awesome finish, check out the description below this video. I'm using the flat finish. You could definitely use satin for this if you wanna increase the shine as you apply your top coat, but either one will work just fine. And really the shine from this is gonna come from the metallic finish more than the top coat. Just give that a good mix. And now we've created a really pretty metallic glaze with the top coat that we are going to put on this piece. I just have um, my good old purdy brush, which I use for everything. We're gonna start on these front drawers here so you can see. Now, usually I would take out the drawers and set them aside upright while I would be working on the body of the dresser. For this video and this purpose, I'm gonna paint these drawers in place so you can see kind of the overall effect and, and what it's turning out like. When I turn off the video, then I'll go back in and get any pieces that I miss. But just want you to know, you can definitely set the drawers aside if that is easier for you. I'm gonna start on this drawer here. And I hope you can see how pretty this is. Instantly, it just gives it a really nice metallic finish. And like I say, it's not streaky because we've added the top coat. This piece has a lot of details, which is fun for a metallic finish because it gives it lots of angles for the light to bounce off of. You can really see the metallic finish on it, more so than you would if it was just kind of a flat, plain piece. So sometimes the more detailed and the curvier, the better for this kind of a finish. And what I didn't tell you in the beginning was we were just starting with a painted piece here. This was two coats of antique white milk paint. I did not seal it with any additional top coat or anything before we are applying the pearl. Each coat of metallic finish will take about two hours to dry. If you would like to add more metallic, you can definitely do an additional coat just like this. Since we've mixed in the top coat with the pearl effects, I don't find it's usually necessary to do an additional top coat. However, if you're trying to increase the glossiness of the finish or you just want some extra protection, you definitely can. I love how this creates a subtle 
finish. It's really, really pretty. All right, I finished the front of this here so you can see. I'm gonna finish working on this and I'll be back in just a few minutes with the final pictures. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my website, rootsandwingsfurniture.com for more painting, tips and tricks, and DIY. Also, subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss a thing. Click the button below.